Hello, this is uh, Treeface, and we're here for another review. This is my friend. The kimono dude. Yep. It's been a long time, but we're back. <laughs> we're here to review uh, When Blackbirds Fly by Screamer Claws. It's an animated movie, a 3D animation. It's, it's a horror movie, and it's really like psychedelic and surreal. It's pretty uh, crazy. It's, it's one of my, actually, probably one of my all time favorite movies. And uh, we, of course, watched it the first time on uh, Mushrooms. And that <laughs> it's the best way to watch it. That's yeah, the best. Yeah. Heavily recommended. Yes. Uh, first time viewers only, though. Like, I mean, you can do a secondary view, but I would say, if you want the true experience, do it on drugs first and then watch it sober later. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the trippiest movie ever. Like, um... It just like literal kaleidoscope at points. Once, once they go into uh, the the hell world, like the, all right. So there's a there's two worlds, I guess. The the normal world, which is like heaven, is called Haven. And um, there's this big wall, and you're not supposed to go past the wall. And there's this leader, Cain, who uh, you know just uh, is the ruler of this little place, and they all worship him like a god. He's their savior. Yeah. And um, if you go across the other side of the wall, which these little kids do, with it, and it goes into this world where it's just like all fucked. It's like a Salvador Dali painting. Yeah. And that's the actual premise of the movie. Most of the time, if you're watching this movie, you're not going to understand what the fuck it's about the first time. Yeah. Uh, most of the story we, we learned from watching the movie with commentary on. Yeah, from the DVD commentary. Uh -huh. sure. But I, I got like the... The gist of it. Yeah. Most of the movie. Yeah. Uh, the world is inhabited by people who don't have any genitals, so they can't reproduce. So they have to go beyond this wall to reproduce in this really fucked up ritual, which includes like stabbing a woman, stabbing her crotch with a knife and shit. And due to the graphical limitations of the film, the, ver the first time... Uh, yeah, this was all animated by one guy. The, the, very, the very first time that... Uh, there's a scene where a woman is pregnant and she doesn't have a genital to birth the child. And um, the first time I, we, I watched it, um, I didn't understand what was going on because it's her skin stretching from like her vagina area the baby's trying to get out of, yeah. of her but there's nowhere to, there's no hole to get out of yeah but there's no hole to get out of but I didn't actually get that because it was really like the, the animation used for that is sort of like glitchy looking so yeah it looks like a hand it looks like a yeah. a, a, a like body hand yeah. masturbator or something like that it's, it's really crazy uh, but it's it's kind of like a religious allegory I mean really uh, in this world like the there's this god and everything but the Spoilers, like the big twist is like uh, the the main guy Kane, you think he's like an evil dictator, but it turns out like he's really protecting people, sort of. He's he's an egotistical bastard. But uh but he's, he's, he's true. Guy. He's true. He's telling <laughs> the truth actually, he's not lying. <laughs> yeah, he's just jealous of uh, the love of like his mother essentially to other people. That the whole thing's like pretty inbred, but uh yeah, the, uh, the god um, created this woman who's essentially Eve, and uh, she then starts giving birth. She, the god discards her as, like, a, a broken, like she's not good enough or whatever. But then she goes on to create life, uh, and create, she created Cain. Cain was the first person she created, I guess. Uh, and he, so he knew all the secrets of her for some reason, I guess because he was the first. And, uh, but then... Uh, she started making all of her creations. Uh, she gave all of her creations generals so they can bang each other and stuff like that. I guess that's her secret power. It's, she can uh, create sex organs, I guess. Yeah, and then <laughs> God was jealous of her as well. And he, like, he, he just makes things and then discards them. Yeah. It's a very strange premise, but it was good. Um, 
I enjoyed the entire movie, really. Uh, the animation style, the, the fact that it changes and they leave in graphical glitches and everything, is actually what makes it fun to watch, I think. Yeah, yeah. and the, the way the background changes, like the filters, like you were saying, yeah. the filters uh, that like, supplement the little figures. Really. Apparently it was done with all like motion capture and shit, but it was pretty awesome. Yeah, like there's some it's good quality like thrusting through uh, motion capture. And, yeah, there's some <laughs> pretty good orgies going on here. The, <laughs> the, the people behind the wall actually have sex and stuff, so it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, a lot of dismemberment, a lot of entrails getting counted. Little girl getting tortured for apparently no reason. Well, she is a sleeper agent. She became an animal. Well, yeah, and they then, tortured her to turn her into an animal to, to take vengeance on or infiltrate the, yeah. the fucking hate or whatever it is. Once your ego is disassembled, you simply find a new back to wrap your lupus in. You must decide your next form. Go deep inside and summon the beast within. Yeah, she's she almost succeeded. She almost killed. I guess they were trying to kill Kane, I guess. Yeah, but it seemed like she was a, like an assassin trying to kill Kane or, or, yeah. or, or Marius. Well, or Ma Marius, I think. Yeah, because Marius got the powers when he went through the wall. He I, thought, I, don't, could, I don't know why she would want to kill Marius. Wouldn't Marius be the one that is doing what she wants? Well, I guess she got the pow he got, Marius got the power to reproduce. But yeah. she, he didn't get turned into an animal, so he's still a human. And he can oh, him. so as like an off. So he, he, yeah. he, get, he escaped before they turned him into an animal. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So I wonder if, like when he infected people, if they got genitals, they wouldn't turn into animals? I, I guess not. I don't think. This is the creation of humans? I yeah. Guess. I guess it's a perversion of like what they wanted, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's a great movie. You should check it out. I think I give it a. Uh, I give it a. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely inspired me to want to make animations and shit. Um, I give it a five out of five canes. Five out of five canes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, let me th think for a second. I mean, I had one of the most memorable experiences while. <laughs> on shrooms that I've ever ex ever had and probably yeah. ever will have just watching you watch this movie and yeah. so I would say it's 5 out of 5 canes for that too for the like, experience just for the experience like it's, yeah but the movie's got yeah. less for you yeah it, like um I obviously didn't inspire me to create yeah um animation but I, I mean I enjoy animation in it's full and it's yeah. finest but I don't necessarily want to create yeah. Like the videos, but voice acting and everything, I've always enjoyed. So. Yeah, you definitely have to have a particular style to want to like this movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you have to like gore and just fucked up shit. There's yeah. a lot of crazy. Like, this is not a movie for an average person. <laughs> if you like just mainstream movies that come out in theaters, Hollywood, it's not for you, probably. <laughs> yeah, but if you're open minded, it's, it's a great yeah. movie. Yeah, like, yeah. Storyline's actually pretty interesting, and. Everything that happens is awesome. Like the, I just love like violence in films. I guess. Yeah, yeah if, if you like horror movies, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's our review for uh, Blackbirds when Blackbirds fly. Um, uh, so please, if you like, subscribe, uh, check out my music, uh, and I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah, he's gonna have something to click somewhere yeah, in probably here. over his head right now. <laughs> Please subscribe button. Yeah. All right. See you later. See. You.